Good morning. Just off to our 6.30 a.m. session, which will be streamed live from home or in person, which is cool. Anyway, I wanted to talk about a quick one today, about how you can enjoy it. How could I possibly enjoy it? And that question, something I get from one of the coaches I work with, because there's going to be times in, in anything you do, whether it's work, whether it's fitness, whether it's weight loss, diet, it's morning, Jane, where you're going to feel like it's hard. Darker mornings, I uh, should do it, but it's dark and I'm not really feeling it. Nighttime eating, I should do it, I shouldn't do it, but, you know, it's just there, I'm kind of getting those cravings. Morning, Sue. And when you just notice, when you say things like, I should do it, I'll, I'll try and do it, do it. You go towards that button, your body language will straight change as well, I should probably do it, but just notice how it, how it makes you feel. And turn it into, how could I possibly enjoy it? And the reason I bring this up is, when we start a journey, we, we, get, we get this kind of uninformed optimism. And I talk about this a lot. We start a journey, we have that excitement, the change is coming. Then we get kind of informed pessimism. And this is the moment, which is, which is needed, by the way. This is where like, our more rational brain comes on and it goes, oh yeah, but you know, when the mornings are darker, you ain't gonna do it. You know, when, those, when that winds out in the evening, you ain't gonna say no. When those crisps are out and the bowl in the middle, you're not gonna say no. When the kids bring back the chocolates, you're not gonna say no. All these things come in and we start to go, actually, you know what? This is too hard. This is too hard. And, and that is a good thing. But what I want you to do in that moment is rather than just consider what you're going to lose from it, consider what you could gain from it. What can I gain from getting a handle on my nighttime eating? What could I gain from it? Because often we're talking about what, what do we lose from it? I lose, I lose being able to eat loads in the evening or eat these biscuits, eat that chocolate. It makes me feel good at that time. What could you gain from it though? Better sleep, more energy the next day. Better control of food the next day, less snacking the next day. And it starts to go, oh, actually, I'm looking at the benefits now. And I guess the number one thing to help you enjoy it a bit more is to think of something that you actually enjoy doing at that time and replace it. Here's what I mean. Working out at home is hard, especially with kids around. That's as I've found through lockdown and and even now, now they're back at nursery, when we come back, what I do though, is I try and make it fun and I try and make it an activity for all of us. So I chase them around, <laughs> throw them up in the air a bit. I then go on the, a pull-up bar and I let them hang from it. They pretend they're monkeys. And I'm finding a way to enjoy it. Car journeys, hate car journeys. So I put a podcast on. You can start to get it, you can start to get it. How could I possibly enjoy it? Just keep asking that question. And if you want to take it one step further, get an accountability partner. How do I know this works? Well, yesterday, come home, I take my shoes off, and this is the, about the third time it's happened in the last 10 days, and now it's really sunk in, that my word means nothing, and that unless you do it, it means absolutely nothing. So, I come in, take my shoes off, put them by the bench and put them by like, by the shoe cupboard. Got a shoe cupboard. And then my t three-year-old daughter comes over and goes, Daddy, you need to put your shoes in there. And I'm like, wow, my word has completely gone now, hasn't it? And my point in this is, imagine someone's watching. Just imagine they're watching. Imagine your kids are watching, other hearts watching, because here's where I'm going with this, it's a bit of a tangent, but when we nighttime eat, when we comfort eat, we often f say things, and it feels like sometimes that it's like automatic. But I've done it before, and there's actually a lot of planning that goes into it, perhaps partly subconsciously, but you know, maybe the other half goes in the other room, kids are in bed, you're like, oh, I can relax now. I'm gonna get the spoon out the drawer. I'm gonna get the... There's a lot of planning that goes into it. You probably wouldn't do it if the kids were watching, if the kids were there. You'd probably sit down, because I tell the kids all the time, if you're gonna eat, sit at the table, and then I'm there. 
eating yogurt. I'm running across the road looking at my phone now. All these things, right? So, I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Time for our session. Speak soon.